Right, so the Rover's back home. It's a quick walk round. First time I've seen it in the daylight. It's pretty filthy. It's got some rust on it, but it's complete. Aluminium bonnet. Uh, boot even. The bonnet's aluminium as well. Right, it's the, it's the engine. See, there's loads of corrosion and dust. Could really do with the compressor to blow it all out. Okay, so the petrol tank's in the boot on these. As you can see, the filler cap's on the top, just behind the, that window. <clears throat> and the fuel tank hides behind this little flap here, which I've already released. And uh, first glance, surprisingly good nick under here. Let's see if we can get, get a light on it. So, Obviously hasn't been much water getting back here because I'd expect it to be uh, corroded on the surface, but it's been protected Let's see if we can uh, drain it off and get the old stinky fuel out All right, so that's not in bad nick at all Lighting's a bit crap behind here, but You can see look, the paint's uh, there's no, I can't even see any surface rust on it paint stood up to the elements although it has been really protected back here so see if I can find where the fuel lines come out and drain it off but I'm pretty excited about the condition of this well, I've cut through the old fuel lines to drain the fuel tank near near to the tank it's absolutely loads in it I've taken 10 litres out so far and it's still coming 37 litres of fuel later and it tanks empty if you ignore the colour of the one that's full because it's contaminated with oil but that's the colour of the petrol that came out of it it's pretty dark orange so a bit of rust in there old petrol goes that kind of colour as well so to get the tank out now and clean it <laughs> 